Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hyde from BeHealing.com and this is the Energy Update for All Signs for Friday the 24th of March 2023. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube called Psychic Cafe. In there I give mini reads for donations. You can find the next show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. I would love to see you in there. If you're interested in a private reading with me, they're available from my website, behealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. I get them out within 48 hours of you ordering them. So if it says it's sold out, it is just sold out for the day. Do check back, check back a day or so later. You should be able to get something coming up. So what's in the energies for everybody today? Let's find out right now. We have leave behind what is no longer you. So letting something go, leaving it behind, moving on from it today. Might not be an easy thing to do that. We have solitude, time to walk alone kind of thing, warrior. Yeah, it might not be easy to do, um, to walk alone, to leave something behind, to let go, to walk your own path, that kind of thing. To be in solitude, to work by yourself or be single, um, let, let someone go. Recharge and optimism, but try and be optimistic about this and do take your time to recharge as well. Don't throw yourself into something new straight away. Take time to recharge um, and be optimistic. Get that optimism back by, by recharging. Let's find out more. What's going on today? What's in these energies today? Six of Cups. You might be reminiscing about something. It could be something to do with the past. Queen of Wands, you're very attractive right now. This is a go-getter kind of an energy. You know what it is that you want and you're out there getting it. Four of Pentacles, but you're holding your energy back from someone or something. And the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is, can be about marriage, but it's also solid foundations, building up solid foundations to grow on, on top of something, it's the foundations, you know, it's put, setting those foundations right so that it's something that can be built on top of them. Let's get deeper into all of this. So the Six of Cups, reminiscing, something about the past, what's going on here? The devil, right, okay, so stuff in the past that hasn't gone right for you, that has caused worry, that has caused problems for you, it's been negativity, that kind of thing. There's a, a need to... Take off those rose-tinted glasses and look at things as they are, especially in the past. Um, and perhaps this is what you're letting go of now. Perhaps you should be getting to the point now where in, instead of seeing things as better than they were, or instead of just focusing on the positive, it's time to get real and focus on the negative and go, look, that thing or that person is not for me. There's a definite need to look back in the past and see the negativity that was behind that, especially if you're a positive person. And so it's usually, yeah, usually you're wearing those rose-tinted spectacles. Usually you like to see the best in people. You like to see the positive in the situation. That's all great, and that's great for our psyche and all of that kind of thing. But it can have us ignoring red flags. It can have us not making good decisions for ourselves when there's negativity around us. And so there's a need here to actually face what is negative, especially in your past, so that you can say no to it. Perception, changing your perception of that. So, yeah, it's time to take those rose-tinted spectacles off. That's what that's saying. Queen of Wands, because you're very attractive right now. You can go out and get what it is that you want, take action toward what it is that you do want. Why have we got the Queen of Wands here? Page of Voices very attractive right now and someone's got their eye on you let's find out more about this page of voices who is it you're talking about here this could be someone um, who wants to work with you wants to have a relationship with you maybe six of inspiration someone that wants to have a victory with you ace of inspiration start something new with you a um, lot of ones energy so a lot of action taking someone that wants to work with you or do something with you yeah ones are all, all about action and passion as well. It could be someone that is passionate about the same things as you. They see they could have a victory with you if they went into business with you or in a relationship with you as well. It could be that too. 
but it's someone who's aligned with you passionately. So someone that's into the same things as you, passionate about the same things as you. It requires change in your life and what else? Masculine energy. So it's a masculine energy that's coming in. It's got their eye on you, and but it requires change in your life to have this new start. Um, queen of Wands, King of Wands kind of an energy of passionate, go-getter, making things happen, mover, shaker kind of an energy. But you want you to hold your energy back. Four of Pentacles. What's this? Something needs to change. The Death card, the Emperor. Something needs to change. Okay. So it's about the same person. They're coming at you. Emperor energy and death. It could be that they need to stop wanting to be in control. It, it could be someone wants to, you to work for them, but you actually want to be their business partner. That could be this energy. So you're holding your energy back until you've negotiated a business partnership rather than them being in control. Something about the, the emperor energy, which is them being in control, that you don't like. It needs to end. It could be... I'm not really getting that. It could be like they're too arrogant or something like that, but I'm really not getting that. I'm getting control. Someone wants to be the boss here and in control, whether it's in a romantic relationship or a business kind of a thing. And it feels like you want to hold your energy back until that changes, that they can't be in control. It feels like a business thing to me rather than a romantic energy. Let me know in the comments below though what it is for you. Someone that's controlling her, but you don't want them to be in control. It needs to be an equal kind of a thing. Creativity. Yeah, I think it's about your work. I think or you can create a lot with this person because you're into the same things, but you want it equal. So someone could be coming in with a business proposition today, but they want to be the boss. Or, or they're presuming that they'll be the boss and you need to negotiate with them. Hold your energy back a little bit and don't say yes to it straight away. Um, now, it, it could be related to something that's gone on in the past where you had rose-tinted spectacles and you thought it would all work out, but you didn't negotiate right in the first place. And so it didn't work out right for you. So learn from that. Four of Wands, because you want the solid foundation so that it can grow to something really big, right? If something doesn't start off with those right foundations, it's going to fall. No matter how much work you put into it, if you haven't got the foundations right, it's going to fall. So it feels like this opportunity that's coming in needs to be negotiated right so that it's got that solid footing. Music materials, the so stability there, the king of pentacles, nine of inspiration and the magician. You can manifest this to be really good, but you do need to make sure that the foundations are stable. So negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. Before you say yes to anything, you've got to negotiate this because you could manifest it to be really good. But like I said, those foundations need to be set first. What's behind this? Could be a lot of stability, long-term kind of a project, this. Ascension. This is you raising your energy up. You claiming um, ownership of something, perhaps. It doesn't feel like you're going to be the boss of it either. It feels like it's going to be a shared kind of a thing. Interesting energy. So what else? What's going on in our love lives today? What's in our love lives? Is this the passion card? Yes, it's passion. A magnetic and a seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So you're very attractive at the moment in bringing people in. Could be love life stuff, this. Someone that wants to be with you but kind of wants to be the boss of you. What else? Make time for self-love. So make sure that you're loving yourself. Make sure that you're making good decisions for yourself. And taking time out for yourself as well, especially if you've got very strong energy person around you. The emperor can be the divine masculine. What else? Security. Keep your heart secure. So you be the one that advocates for your heart and takes good care of your heart. Don't let someone run rings around you or make the decisions for you. You know, without self-love, you've got to take care of yourself. Strings attached could be strings attached in something that's offered to you today. Be careful out there. What else in our love lives? Truth and pain. 
Someone could be telling the truth to you, their truth to you, which causes pain in your heart. It could be about how you made someone feel. There's naughtiness going on today, a bit of playfulness and grace and mistake. Through a mistake that you made in the past in your love life, you've actually learned and grown a lot, so much so now that you're in the flow. So mistakes that you made previously, you're learning from now, and it's actually getting you more in the flow of good stuff for yourself. As far as your love life goes. What else is in the energies today? Shield. You need to defend yourself. Yes, you need to stand up for yourself and hold your energy back and negotiate something. A broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. What else in the energies today? A needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. One more. One or two more. What else is in the energies today? A caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. But it might be coming slowly says the caterpillar. So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for your answer. But this is just a bit of fun because this is a general reading, not a personal reading for you. But if you do want me to pull one of these crystals out for a specific question you've got, come along to my Psychic Cafe show sometime. Um, I can do it in there for donations or any kind of question in there. I can also use these in private readings as well. Book yourself in. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. After you've booked in, click on the Contact Us page for any questions that you've got for a reading in there. You don't have to have questions for a reading, by the way. I will just channel as I usually do. Um, how best to deal with these energies today? We have the Five of Wands. Be strategic, especially around negotiations. And Eight of Cups. Be prepared to walk away. Be prepared to walk away from an offer. Be strategic, negotiate, and be prepared to leave an offer on the table if it's not right for you. This is what I'm getting from that. Whether it's in love or business. Good advice. Okay, so think of a yes or no answer question now. What's that? Think of a yes or no answer question now. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is... No, it's the ruby. Don't do it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click like on this video before you click off down there. Leave a comment. Click on the subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me. I do one of these energy updates every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show as well. I'd love to see you in there. And I make three love picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now and watch that next if you so wish. Well, have the best day ever. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.